In 2526, only a year after the start of the Covenant War, 12 Spartans were attached to the 21st ODST Space Assault Battalion, known also as the Black Daggers, for Operation Silent Storm. The purpose of this operation was to disrupt and destroy Covenant operations from within enemy lines, most notably through boarding Covenant vessels to plant nuclear devices. The Spartans, including John 117 and Blue Team, had already boarded and eliminated two Covenant vessels prior to this assignment. And yet, they were still only 15 years old and inexperienced in working with non-Spartan units. Their age, and, if it can be said of Spartans, immaturity, created a tense working relationship with the commander of the Black Daggers, one Colonel Marmon Crowther. During an attack on an insurrectionist outpost on the frozen moon of Seba as part of Silent Storm, John 117 brazenly intervened in a botched infantry insertion under anti-aircraft fire. He jumped from his transport with a Spanker rocket launcher, destroying two gun emplacements and likely saving the lives of troopers who had already dropped and were under heavy fire. After the battle had concluded, however, John's actions were questioned by the colonel and an ODST captain, who wondered if the heavy casualties taken by Alpha Company, John's group, were attributable to their following the Spartans' improvised dismount, despite an order to abort the drop zone. John and the Spartans would get another opportunity to prove their value on the battlefield, however, when they took the initiative to prevent a downed Prowler stealth vessel from being captured by the Covenant. An alien assault force had arrived at Siva, and the prowler Starry Knight had been hit during an attempted evacuation from the moon's surface, and crashed shortly thereafter. Knowing that the Covenant could not be allowed to capture the mission plans, or worse, Earth's coordinates, John 117 and the other members of Spartan teams Blue, Gold, and Green set out to prevent the vessels falling into enemy hands. They were able to save the few survivors of the crash, and set a Fury-class nuclear device on board the Starry Knight to detonate. The resulting explosion destroyed both the Prowler and a Covenant vessel attempting to seize it. It was this rescue and asset denial which changed Crowther's mind about the Spartans. For the next few weeks, Crowther began to involve John and the Spartans in closely guarded missions meant to improve the likelihood of Silent Storm's success. During this time, John too had done some reevaluating. He had come to recognize that the Colonel's original reticence had been warranted that the Spartans' relative lack of field experience was a weakness that needed correcting, before they could be expected to survive as many special ops missions as had Crowther's oldest Black Daggers. It was before a major strike on a Covenant supply world that Crowther's change of heart concerning the Spartans had its greatest manifestation. While the Colonel was speaking to John 117 in the hangar of the stealth cruiser Vanishing Point, the following interaction occurred. Crowther reached into his shirt pocket. I have something for you but first, I want to make something clear. After what you did at Seba and Edelin, you deserve these, and you deserve the full ceremony, on the bridge of the largest ship in the fleet. But that's not what you're getting. There are going to be some very experienced Black Daggers in your group wondering why you're in command and they aren't, so we need to act now. This will remind them it's because I said so. He extended his hand and displayed a metal armor insignia with three chevrons capped by a rocker. The UNSC Eagle was perched atop the rocker, and above each of the eagle's upraised wingtips was a star. John wasn't sure he understood. Sir, that's the rank insignia of a Master Chief Petty Officer. Now, he had been only a Petty Officer at the time, and so a four-rank promotion came as a shock. He initially refused the insignia, but the Colonel made it clear that John was essentially under orders to receive the promotion. Thus, John 117 accepted his new rank and became the Master Chief. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Until next time.